Literacy A, B, C's. Lesson two. B is for back it up. Backing it up is the engine that drives the rest of your essay. So let's review. We left lesson one at purpose. Our purpose in our essay was to inform and explain what is special. Remember, we have to use details and examples, which we skipped in lesson one. Let's talk about it now. Our introduction was, Abraham Lincoln is an important person to study in school. He made slavery illegal. He helped end the Civil War. He was a great American president. Let's take those last three sentences and place them in the body paragraphs of our essay as topic sentences. Now all we need is details, details, details. So here are the basics. To back it up, you need to cite evidence, use data, use quotes, use big ideas or small details, use research or cite examples. But how? That seems like a whole lot. Now you can cite facts, quotes, and examples. Let's talk about all three, starting with facts. Facts are specific ideas from your reading. It could be your textbook or text that you are given. So what are details from the text? We read, President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation on January 1st, 1863, as the nation approached its third year of a bloody civil war. The proclamation declared that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states are for and henceforward shall be free. Hmm. So you write, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed all slaves. Now let's figure out what paragraph we should place it in. Since it's about making freeing slaves, let's place it in body paragraph one. He made slavery illegal. Now that we've talked about facts, let's move on to quotes. Quotes. Quotes are exact words of an expert. These are words that you like the precise phrasing of. For Abraham Lincoln, let's look at the Gettysburg Address. That this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. That's a pretty long quote. Let's just take the most important words from it. That government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. That's the most important part. Let's use that to back up part of our body paragraphs. Since it's about government, let's use it about why he helped end the Civil War. Now, let's talk about examples. Examples are stories from experience. These could be your own personal stories or experiences of other people. Since we weren't alive during Abraham Lincoln's presidency, let's use someone else's. According to Judge David Davis, in whose court Lincoln practiced for many years, the framework for Lincoln's mental and moral being was honesty. So, using that experience, we can write, Judge David Davis, who worked with Lincoln, said his highest quality was honesty. Since honesty is an important character trait, we can use that to back up why he was a great American president. Now you can back it up. Just cite facts, quotes, and examples. 